Hi everybody, Dr. P here um, at Alchemy Extracts International. Um, if you remember uh, about nine months or so ago, I was here um, talking to John about the cannabis uh, project going on here in Kentucky, in the Louisville area, and I'm um, here to follow up on the latest developments. If you remember, last time um, we talked about how uh, John was producing the CO2 extract from um, legal cannabis growing here in Kentucky that's high in CBD. And when he does the CO2 extraction, he would normally get uh, this kind of material right here. This is what we call the mud and it's what comes right out of the CO2 extractor. And typically what we get out of this would be about 55% CBD. This is high CBD material, low THC material. So what are we doing here today? Well, we're taking this mud and we are vacuum distilling it. As you can see, this is the vacuum distillation apparatus. And as you can see, this very nice golden honey-like material is coming out and this is this is the holy grail of CBD material this is what you want it's free of all the waxes and all the stuff that you don't want and high in CBD and with, with the other uh, cannabinoids that are also beneficial but mainly CBD. So this is not pure CBD. It's about 70%. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, this is what the uh, golden globe looks like. <laughs> it's beautiful material. It's literally the consistency of honey. And uh, it's pretty amazing. This has so many uh, applications that are going to be easier to use this kind of material than this uh, crude um, CO2 extract. And I'm gonna come in here to John and ask John. If, John, what uh, what can you tell us about your latest developments here? Well, uh, thanks for coming, Robert. It's been uh, very exciting to, uh, I'm using the term walk upright. Uh, we've really come a long way in the last uh, several months and uh, the magic of the cannabis extract is just now able to be fully exploited with our short path distillation systems. Uh, we get a higher, uh, what I call a better quality product. It's more applicable to other applications. There's nothing wrong with the crude. Uh, it's just got more wax. Uh, it doesn't work well in edibles or vapor products. And that's really where we're looking to kind of uh, turn up the volume in our company is offering these wide range of products that are so uh, diverse in their application. Right. Well, this material is really phenomenal looking and I guess the next phase is to scale this up. We are. We are looking at several systems. So within the next uh, 60, I'm sorry, 90 to 180 days, we'll have uh, the lab set up, built into a inline flow system that processes. Uh, our goal is to be around five kilos an hour. Wow, that's amazing. So yeah, we have to have some. We have to have something that's comparable with our extraction system. That's so large that uh, it'd be so inefficient to have. A dozen of these in the room. We need, a, we need a scale operation to be able to uh, provide the market for right. the products I need. Well, I want people to understand the break, the the huge benefit of using this kind of material versus this. This is not uh, workable in a lot of products because it it doesn't dissolve well and it's hard to deal with. Whereas this is going to be much more integratable into finished products that can be used for a wide range of health benefits. Um, what are some of those applications, John? Um, we primarily use this compound for vapor products, uh, e-juice, um, anything that's able to be put into a vaporizer cartridge. Uh, the edible line we just made tastes um, ridiculously good. Uh, it doesn't have the bitter aftertaste that the wax brings with it. We can also blend tinctures. Um, I think there's a good market in the essential oil marketplace just because of the blendability factor. Right. You don't get the separation you do is with the whole wax, uh, the whole raw extract. Right, which I should point out here, 
this bulb here is base is full of mainly the terpenes which is basically the essential oil profile uh, but actually better than the essential oil I would say because it's uh, not a steam distillation process it's a much lower heat process yeah I'm really looking forward to your test results of our material I think it's uh, superb in its quality and we just need some analytics to be able to put some numbers to it well that's I'm looking forward to analyzing it thanks John yeah so that's uh, the next step is I'm going to take some samples back to the lab, analyze them, and I'll report to you uh, on the results. But this is really clean stuff, and uh, I'm excited to see uh, how this develops. And uh, see stay tuned for more. Talk to you later.